Hey guys, happy Gina Graham here. Come on in close. I want to show you how to make a new painting today. We are going to draw spiders. This is the spider that I ended up with. But notice all the times I tried before I came up with the spider that I like. This is the one I ended up with. I looked to see what spiders looked like in real life to see the different parts that they have. But then I kind of just took some shapes and started building them in different ways. So I hope that you guys do that too today. Draw uh, on a separate piece of paper. I just used um, a little pen and just went for it. And I didn't know how things would look. I just went for it, trying different shapes and making different things. So. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this spider. And then we're going to draw a web for our spider. Then we're going to do a watercolor wash over the top of him and make it look really cool. Alright, so you'll need a Sharpie today if you have one. Any permanent marker will do. I hope you have a Sharpie at home. They come in big and little sizes like this. Alright, so Let's start this spider. I'm going to draw him down here in the corner because I'll be drawing a web up on that edge. So I'll just start with some circle eyes. Like that. Now, you don't have to do yours just like mine. I'm just showing you how I solved it. Little eyelids. These cute little antennas come up like this. And like this. Now let's do those little pincher prongs. I don't know the official name of them, but they look kind of like that. A backwards C and then back up again. Now I'm going to make his face look a little furry like that. I like all my critters to be smiling, so I'm going to give him a smile. Now his abdomen is kind of bigger, so I'm gonna come up like this and make kind of a balloon-like shape right there. He's starting to, to look good. All right, now let's do these little legs. A spider has eight legs. So I'm gonna start here and do a kind of a squashed up C, letter C kind of shape. Now a backwards one like this. And that, that's this part. Did I do it perfectly? One is a little lower than the other. Oh well, I'm just gonna keep going. Here's a leg. Here's a leg. All right, we need four on each side. Here's a leg. It's gonna tuck under there a little, so I'm gonna come up around like that. Here's a leg. Oh, I went right off the page. And that's okay too. We just make decisions based on what's happening and kind of just go with the flow. We're all going with the flow a lot lately, aren't we? There he is. So mine turned out really big compared to that and that's okay. Now, this is what we're gonna finish on today. I'm going to show you how to do a web first and then on this one I'm going to do it with a white oil pastel for real because it'll be part of a fun little technique that I'm going to show you. So once you draw your spider I'd like you to color him with probably let's say crayons or a colored pencil. You can even paint him if you want to like I did with mine. Now, when you do the web part, I want you to do it with white oil pastel or white crayon. I'm showing you with this marker just so that you can see it. This is what you're really going to draw the web with. All right, so pretend you have those. Pretend I have those. I'm going to make a dot where the center of my web is going to be. Now I'm going to take and make a line going through the dot. And I'm going to stop before I get to my spider. Now my dot is there. 
I'm going to make another line going through the dot. Okay, so that is always going to be the center of my web from now on. Here we go. Another line. Another line. Let's see. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to do a line up this way. Line. Um, let's see. Let's go this way. Another line. Here we go. Another line. Another line. I'm going to call that done. Isn't that fun? So now what you're going to do is you're going to start making a little connective ring as you go around those lines. It's a coil that you're making. And you're just going to keep going and going and going and going. It's making me dizzy. <laughs> now once you get off the edge, you stay off and just finish like that. All right, and then I'm gonna go this way. Is that tricky? And this way, whoops. Are we gonna be perfect about this and worry if we miss a spot? No, we're just having fun. All right, there's my web. Now my spider, I want him to be kind of attached to the web, so I'm gonna make kind of a fun loopy line here to connect him. So he's like springing off the web. All right, let me do it for real on my real illustration here. You're not gonna be able to see this very well, but I'm gonna do the same steps that I just did. All right, here's my dot. I'm gonna do a line. And then remember, I'm gonna try to hit that center again, another line. Can you see that? I'm gonna do a line. Oh, I broke it. No worries. And a line that just jumped me, that's all. And a line, just keep doing what we did when you could see it really well. Um, let's go up this way. One more, let's make sure I get through this way. There. Oh, I like, this is too big, so I'm gonna do it one more time, like that. All right, remember you go and you go around the loop, hitting all those web lines. Now it's kind of hard because, I'm gonna have to twist it a little. I'm curious, I can't wait to watch this back and see what you can really see. Spiderwebs are so fun. Have you ever walked into one before not knowing that it was there and it sticks to your face? Ooh, it's a weird feeling. All right. Here we go, almost done. I think I'm done. Now I'm gonna do that loopy line again, connect to my spider, Woo! just like that. Here we are, I have my oil pastel web done. I have my spider drawn nice and neatly. I have the background or the outside line is in Sharpie. The inside is colored with the colored pencil. Now, this is the watercolor I have. And you know, we're at home, we don't have everything perfectly. I just found this in some packaging when I was cooking and I thought it would make a nice paint tray. It had pasta in it before, so I just saved it and I put my paint in there. So that's the watercolor I'm gonna use. You might have this to use. Um, whatever watercolor you can find, I want you to try it. Now you might only have this at home. You can still use this to paint with today. Um, I have these nice, brushes because I have a lot of art supplies at home. So this is what I'm going to use. All right. So now I wrote a little secret message down here and I can't wait to show you what our spider says and is carrying. You're going to take color and you're going to do a wash of color all over what you just did. Any colors you want. Do you see the web kind of popping up? Now, are you gonna go over your spider? 
like that or are you gonna go around your spider? You should go around your spider for this painting because we want the spider to show up. If we went over the top of him, he would kind of blend into the background. So you're gonna do your best to paint around him. Now, if you don't do it perfectly, it's not a big deal. Just do your best. I use big brushes for big spaces and then littler brushes for little spaces. I should have an even smaller brush here. I don't, but we're just gonna just go with what happens. Tuck it here and here and here and here and here. All right, you ready for my secret message that the spider is holding? I drew it before we started filming. Here we go. Oh, T R U S T. It says trust. Isn't that sweet? I would love for you to write a word on yours too. So I have a Bible verse for you today. I wrote it out with crayon before we started. Here we go, let's read it together. And this is in crayon. Oh, there's that word trust. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own way. Obey him and he will make your path straight. Isn't that a nice promise? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. All right, guys, that's your art lesson for today. Please trust in the Lord during these kind of scary times. It's easy to get anxious and not be as trusting, but this is our time to shine. This is our time to trust in Jesus even more every day. I hope that you trust him first thing in the morning, and if you decide that you're getting anxious, just go back to trusting him. Um, we can renew our mind like that and, and just hold on to Jesus' hand throughout our day. All right, I thank you for watching. Be happy, trust God, and do art.